Hey, what's up everyone, Ultimate Atomic HD here, and today I'm starting off a new Let's Play for a Nintendo Wii game, and now let's get going into it right now, and that game is... Yep, Sonic and the Secret Rings for the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, Sonic's very first Nintendo Wii game. I, plan I planned on doing this for a while now, and now I finally get to do it, to do that. Yeah, yeah, warning, whatever. See ya. And yeah, this is, uh, this is actually the game that was first released after Sonic 06. So basically, uh, the Sega and the Sonic team were recovering from the abomination that they created one year ago since this re game released in 2007. Oh yeah, uh, time for an opening cutscene. One of the more epic opening cutscenes in the game. In the entire... In the entire gaming. Here's Night Palace, the final world in this game, suddenly becoming a rocket ship. And what now? Ooh, Arabian words. Arabian letters. Yeah, this is based on the book The Arabian Nights. And basically, the main plot of the game is all about this guy here, known as Eraser Jin, who surprisingly looks a lot like Majin Buu. And yeah, he has a uh, razor. A shaming razor for a weapon. Basically, he wants to steal those stories for himself in order to escape out of this world. And our blue hero here has to stop him. Oh yeah, here comes the most epic part of the opening. Oh snip, here we go. But the ending is so weird. Okay, well, let's get going, finally. Uh, like, um, here is how I'm going to be doing this Let's Play. For the first play world, the Lost Prologue, I'm gonna open up a new save file to, slow you, to show you off how Sonic starts out in the beginning, when he has no skills or abilities. And then later for the Sand Oasis and the other world, I'm gonna be playing on my completed file, which is this one here. Alright, some new data. And here's Lost Prologue, our first world. Let's start with paragraph one. So yeah. Our first cutscene. Sonic is sleeping by reading Arabian Nights. No, he was... <laughs> okay. Boy, is it that late already? What time is it? Huh? How did this get here? Oh, the blue hedgehog. Oh, he sure is. Hedgehog. Do, do not be alarmed. I am Shara, the genie of the ring. You know, like Aladdin in the magic land. Don't think I've read that. What? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> the best story of all the Arabian Nights. Or at least the second best. But that's besides the point. Please, look at this. Hey, the page is blank. Yep. Our world. The world of the Arabian Nights. 
is vanishing. And guess who? Where is our gin? This is the work of an incredible evil spirit. The Eraser Gin. Eraser Gin? Yes. He used his evil magic to become even more powerful. He could not bear to simply remain in the book any longer. And so he has begun to set the inscriptions free, absorbing the power of the book itself. The power, power of, of knowledge. If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jinn will then be unleashed into your world. Oh no, we mustn't that allow that. Sounds like trouble, but what do you want me to do? I want you to stop him. You must stop the Eraser Jinn. Only you, the Blue Hedgehog, can do it. Hmm, so this guy needs someone to put him in his place, does he? I suppose I can help out with that. It might even be fun. But this is all just something out of a storybook, right? How am I supposed to do anything about that? <laughs> That's easy. You are my master. Oh my god, that sounds so wrong. As such, I am able to grant your wishes. Ah, uh, a lot of things will be sound uh, will sound wrong in this game. Is within my power. What? Inside that book? Poof. Please place the ring on your finger. Like this? Ouch! Hey. Take it easy. My apologies, O oh Master. Oh my but God! The has been sealed. Contract? Yes. As Master of the Ring, I am now bound to protect you. Now, rub the ring. Like, like this? Oh, Master of the Ring, what is thy wish? Ah! Why? <laughs> How about a handkerchief for starters? Get a few. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're a Okay. You see, I caught this cold yesterday and. Please, be serious. Okay, okay. Thanks for the hankies, though. Oh, please. Someone tell me that this isn't really happening. All right. Let's go. Take me to this world of the Arabian Nights. As you wish, Master. Quit it, will you? I'm <laughs> Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Very well then, Sonic. The legendary hedgehog. Here we go, into the world of the Arabian Nights. Yay! Okay. Now this is first class. Here we go! And off they go! Oh my god, but the wish granting and the master speech is ah so wrong, so wrong. Don't make me go into that. Okay, for the first thing. The left and right will move you in that direction. Yeah, we know. But for the first thing, uh, Sonic moves in this game automatically, which was uh, and since this was his first game for the Nintendo Wii, uh, it was kind of uh, how should I say controversial since they didn't know what quite to do for the controls. Oh no! Come on, I need 50 of them. There we go. And yeah, this, or the Lost Prologue, this world is kind of a tutorial world. Uh, yeah, new missions. We constantly get new missions as we go through the through the story. Alright, paragraph second is the next mission. And yeah, uh, the controls in this game are sometimes clunky, but they're okay. Well, this uh, this lost prologue is meant to teach you all of them. Press the two button and release to jump. And yeah, the only way Sonic can uh, stop, if you press one or two, then it just slides. Come on. Then it charges a jump when you press 2 and release it. Wait, am I supposed to collect 50 rings? Or is it just my imagination? Come on. And... Ah, there we 
to go, okay? Okay. I believe just a few missions and then we're already done with this. But the main theme of the game is kind of also really, really awesome. Steve Conte, Seven Rings in Hand. One of the best themes I've ever heard. Up here. What are we supposed to do here? Oh, another jump tutorial or something like that. Fine. This it? But yeah, basically, later in the game, Sonic will gain level up skills, abilities, and yeah, he becomes more powerful. Bronze medals all the time. But don't worry, on my own file, I have gold medals on this, these missions because I have skills. I have skills there. Okay, then we have paragraph 4. Bombing attack to defeat 10 enemies. Okay, now we're actually going somewhere. Okay. Two, one, go. You can do a homing attack while jumping when the lock on mark appears. There's the symbol. Okay. So basically, the lock on armor, uh, lock on target appears, you thrust your Wii remote forward and. You defeat enemies. You can also do it to perform an air dash like I'm doing right here. Two more of them. Come on. No, come on. One more. And there we go. Another bronze medal for me. Yeah, you gain experience after completing each mission. Yeah, the Lost Prologue has the most missions now. Use proper breaking to reach the goal. Hmm, what's this? Three, two, one, go. Oh! Press the one button to break. The one button? Come on. Okay. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes, there we go. I always use two for breaking for some reason. Even though I shouldn't. I should probably use one for breaking. Okay. Uh, use back moves and create the collect to do 25 rings. Oh, I think we have to go backwards to collect rings in this one. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, basically, you go backward by turning the Wii Remote upside down. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, we're done. No problem. Yeah, I walked forward a bit, so that uh, rampled my score. Okay, what's the next mission? Ten small jumps in reach for the goal. A small jumps is just press two. The bigger jump, the bigger jumps are holding two and then releasing it. Press and release the two button to do a small jump. One more. No! Ah, come on! I need to retry that. Wait, can I? Quickly press and release. Ah, I can actually do this. 
didn't know I can actually do that. I'm actually, I'm already done. There we go. Who would have thought I would have to redo a level in the very first episode? What next? Have more missions, okay? Don't worry, the use grinding to reach the goal. Now basically, they're teaching us everything here. But later, when we get to the the more the more uh, the other worlds that are not like you this. Grind on places that have squared edges. Come on. Uh, later, when we get to the more serious worlds, uh, we won't have to complete that many missions. As here. Come on. Yeah, I believe really, we're done. We are. Okay. Hm. No medals. Oh, that's a true shame. And we leveled. Okay, ring bonus. New world, okay. So we're done with this one. Okay, so who's this guy who's trying to make the world disappear again? You mean the eraser gin? Yeah, that's right. Can you take me to him? There is no need. Oh, he's here. He? He's here. <laughs> Talk about close shapes. Maybe you know where I can get my quill sharpened too? Sonic, that's him. He's the evil spirit who is striking the words of our world from the pages. You. You must be that blue rat that just got added to the story. Don't you know anything? I'm not a rat. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> I am a razor gin. I am the one who shall carve up this world as I see fit. Yeah, well, if you're gonna do that, can you at least wait until I'm done reading it first? <laughs> <laughs> and that means like never, because he one never reads. One nights have already been wiped clean. And soon the rest shall join them. Night by night. And then with the seven world rings? Seven world rings? Yep. You have gathered the seven world rings for me. Have you not? Shara? You just got here. Oh no, Shara. On about that. I told you those things don't even exist. And even if they did, I'd never give them to you. Oh. They do exist. He is right, though. I suppose. A suitable punishment is in order then. Look out! Sonic! Shara was, ha was supposed to take that hit, but instead it got Sonic. This is how judgment was dealt, is it? Hmm. This should be interesting. You listening? Bring me the seven world rings before the arrow of flame extinguishes. If you do not. The king is the creator of the Arabian Nights and the main character of the story. Huh. With my speed, we'll just have to make sure we get to him first. All right. So basically that flame that uh, Razor Jin meant to shout out Shara, uh, when it runs out, uh, Sonic's life will end. But anyway, we're done with Lost Prologue, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching, thank you for more virtual updates, comment, like, and subscribe, and next time we'll be going on to the next world, Sand Oasis, this time on my completed file. So see you all, have a good day, peace!